What's going on Wolfgang? Now a lot of people have been questioning me about a DLC video and today's the day guys. DLC prediction is live. New to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, follow my Twitter and join the Discord and please make sure you go to the rules and click on the dancing table emo for God's sake to join the Discord. Anyway, that being said guys, here is my DLC prediction list. So, discussing with the homie Dirk of course, we discussed a few things and if you look at this picture of One's Justice 1, correct? You noticed how Inasa and Endeavor was kind of completing the roster. As you can see, the roster is pretty, it's pretty weird, right? So let's look at the roster without Inasa, right? So you see that they have to fill, in, they have to fill in that gap, correct? Next to you see Endeavor, then you go to the left with Dabby. There's a gap right there, correct? So of course, what's the normal way to do it to complete the roster? Boom! Let's add Inasa. Boom! DLC was done. Now, let's head over to the One's Justice 2 character select screen. We see everybody on the screen, including Nomu. But if you look to the left, you see an open slot. That open slot happens to be next to Aizawa. Now, another screenshot I would like to show you guys is um, the dude that used to upload videos from his channel. He ended up doing a, I think his name is World Kanji. He ended up doing an interview with one of the people from One's Justice 2. And he asked, will there be DLC? And of course, the only thing she could say was, look at that space. And of course, that sent, you know, that hinted, hey, DLC will be coming. No Moose, not the only DLC. But it makes you wonder, who will be the DLC character, Draco? Well, Dirk decided to actually think about, since we're getting a season pass, normally when it comes to season pass, we normally get characters about like maybe four or five. Look at fighters, look at jump force, etc., etc. So Dirk decided to add more squares to mirror the roster to make it even so this is what we have so far now of course the problem with this is that you know the characters won't be visible and there are way too many slots of course so most likely 100 percent guaranteed this is not going to happen but what if we toned it down a little bit to even it out fully we do that and boom you add to the bottom with no move below no move you got three people and then behind not behind below the next dlc character to drop you got three people as well so that makes you a total of seven dlc characters that could possibly come to the game now i know what you're thinking guys that's absolutely wild and you know draco you're speaking your mind you know it's just a theory i understand that but hear me out guys i can't show you this but to be confirmed a hundred percent there will be three dlc characters i guarantee you that now we're going to talk about who, who are going to be the three DLC characters? Me personally, I feel like Hawks will be one, Gentle will be the second. It, I feel like the order will be Gentle, Hawks. Now, the last character will be this is where it gets a little loopy. I personally would love to have Nine from, you know, Heroes Rise, and Nine will make a great DLC character for us. Just the two. I just think that personally, Nine was so sick in the movie. Now, besides Nine, we could have Ioma. A lot of people are requesting Ioma. Me personally, I, I I do have respect for Ioma as now, thanks to the movie as well. I now respect Ioma. I feel like he can actually be good in One's Justice 2. Um, I say that because Ioma has been in a one not a One's Justice. Ioma has been in a My Hero Academia fighting game before, and he did perfectly fine. They did him they did him justice. I gotta stop doing that justice one justice thing, but he did perfectly okay in a fighting game, so Ioma could be another hero that they can add. And for a third pick, mm, Ioma, nine. I want to throw in another waifu. I want to say Midnight. We could actually add in Midnight. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, Draco, I want to see 100%, you know, full cow, you know, 100% Bakugo. Let's be real, guys. He had his screen time, and let's, let's, let's be realistic. We know that's not going to happen. I would love for that to happen because he was, you know, sick. But, you know, that being said, let's let's throw that out the window. But, like I said earlier, guys, we at first, we thought, you know, with the season pass, we would think, you know, if they give us two characters, I personally feel like that would be a waste of a season pass. Like, really? You're only giving us two characters for a season pass? So, Derek was like, maybe they're just going to give us, like, maybe six or seven. Because, you know, the deluxe edition, etc. So, that's how we came up with this screenshot right here. The, you know, with the slots. But 
I ended up receiving something. Can't go into detail about what happened, but three DLC characters are coming. Um, this is just my theory and speculation of who these three DLC characters would be. Which, of course, I feel like two, not two, I feel like Gentle and Hawks is a guarantee no matter what. It's just that third character that would probably throw everyone for a loop. My guess will have to be a movie character. I feel cool if they just throw in a movie character for One Justice 2. Um, if not, we still have Ayoma for another hero. If not Ayoma, maybe another waifu character. Midnight, I know Ryu's not coming. You don't have to tell me that, everybody. That, that dream is done. The dream is done. We're done. We're done for that. But other than that, that's my speculation of Gentle hawks and ioma or nine or midnight who would be the three dlc characters to come i kind of feel like they were going to do this because when once justice won they did three dlc characters endeavor and nasa and shoe style were three of the dlc characters so i felt like they was going to do the same exact thing with once justice 2 those three were completely random they had no you know no connections with each other so i i don't know if they're going to do the same thing with once justice 2 and just throw random stuff in there but me personally, I do feel like they're going to stick with what's going on in the anime. And of course, we just had a recent episode showing off Gentle. So I feel like Gentle, Hawks, and then Ioma, maybe. My guess is going to be Ioma. If not Ioma, definitely um, Nine. I feel like a movie character, most likely. But other than that, let me know in the comment section below who you want the three DLC characters to be. That's right, I said three. I don't want to see no comments of, you know five characters being named or you know a whole list of you know draco this this i understand guys but it's only three three dlc characters will only be coming to one justice two now this could only possibly be just three now we could have another you know another future update because once again i, I personally feel like three characters with a season pass isn't really all that that's just me personally but of course this is my hero they could throw in maybe an, one more character or maybe two more com to actually make the roster completely even like you know me and Dirk like well like how Dirk came up with but for now there's just three so far don't know who the three is but like I said this is just my theory of who the three would be so with that being said like I said let me know in the comment section below who you want your three DLC characters to be and I'm not gonna ask you why but you know just tell me yeah actually yeah no no leave that alone leave that alone just just type in your three dlc characters that being said guys i made a goal to hit 9k subscribers before once justice 2 came out and we are so close to that and i really appreciate everything you do um love you guys leave a like share this video share this dlc speculation theory video anywhere possible twitter you know reddit etc that being said love you guys comment who you want for the three dlc characters and i will see you guys later Jose.